Silence, you nefarious nincompoops! I am about to make an historic declaration. That was the most marvelous thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Boy, oh boy, I'm really glad you got us out of there, American Rabbit. Well, good thing I was so nearby when the fire broke out. It sure was, American Rabbit. But I think that you should know, that fire didn't break out. It was started, deliberately, by those terrible jackals. I know how Rob feels about making generalizations that... Rob! Rob! Rob. Where's Rob? Yes, where is hey, Rob? Hey, Rob. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, uh, well now, uh, hey, I wouldn't worry too much about old Rob. No, no, not, not old Rob. You can't be serious. You must be kidding. Now, uh, now wait a minute, guys. I mean, will you just, uh, wait? I happen to know a little something about rabbits, and, uh, old Rob there is a swimmer, if I ever saw one. I mean, uh, that boy is a swimming fool. He's, he's, he's got that look. Uh, he'll be all right. Don't you worry. Tell you what, ma'am, uh, I want to find out a little more about this mysterious fire. I'll do a quick look around for Rob while I'm at it, but please, trust me. I'm sure the kid's okay. I've seen it all, and I've done it all. And from now on, the game gets played by our rules, and we get to bend them every which way we want. We're going to New York. New York? New York? That toddle and pal? That Chicago, you, you num num. New York is our town. I figure if we can make it there, we can make it anywhere. Sounds sensational, Walt. But uh, what are we going to do there? We're going to be bad. <laughs> We're going to make life miserable for everybody we can. We're going to torment people and terrorize them. We're going to lie and cheat and steal and force everyone to live under our control. We're going to rule New York with an iron will. Gee, that sounds great, Walt. Only way to go. And I'm with you all the way. I want you to know that. But uh, I was just wondering, and this is purely informational, big guy. Why are we doing this, huh? Because we're evil, you idiots. We are bad. That's our job. And as long as I'm in charge, the game gets played by our rules. <laughs> Rob is lost. Rob. Oh, Rob. Rob, thank goodness you're all right. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, nothing like a nice swim in the moonlight in burning water. We were really worried about you, Rob. And I feel sort of bad that we ran off and left you. Yeah, we sure are. I want to feel bad for No, no, no. I came out right behind you guys. Really. I was right on the American rabbit's tail. Uh, no disrespect intended. Oh, Rob. I was going great, too. Well, that is until I realized I couldn't fly like he can. That's when I fell into the river. Hey, that was some accident, huh? That was no accident, Rob. Those jackals wanted to kill us. You know, I got a funny feeling you guys might just be right about that. Well, you know what I think? I think our job is to get as far from here as we can, as fast as we can. But where can we go? Every move we make, they're always one step ahead of us. Well, we could go to, uh... New York. New York? Yeah, they'd never find us there. It's far away. It's big. I bet we could get all kinds of band work. Work so we could earn enough to rebuild the pandemonium. Hey, New York sounds great. But is it right for us to just walk away and leave the whole responsibility of working against evil to the American rabbit? Nobody said we were going to walk away. We're going to run. J just think of it. Mm. We could play in some very smart New York supper club. Hey, come on. We have an obligation to oppose evil. And we still will. In New York. New York. New York. It could be fun. Hey, I love New York. But we don't have any instruments. Don't worry about that. I know people in New York. Big corporation people who'll help us. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go to New York. <laughs> Now, you 
watch out for that big city, you youngsters. You can never tell what those downtown rascals got planned for you. for New York, guys? Right. Yeah. Well, if you fellers don't mind riding along with a load of chocolate, then <laughs> pile in. So how's my guy? Ah, uh, fine, Ed. Fine as wine. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Well, you know, lose a quarter, make three nickels and a dime. So what in the world can we do for you? Uh, well, uh, as a matter of actual I don't fact... Mean to be pushy. No, hey, listen, if it were up to us, we'd love to sit and shoot the breeze with you fellas all day, but... But time is money, and hey, let's not kid ourselves. It's a jungle out there, guys. Hey, we're fighting for our lives here. Oh, uh, well, listen, if this isn't a good time, I well, mean... Well, you see, what actually happened is that we had a kind of mishap. Equipment-wise, that is. Oh, hey, that's a rough one. That really tears it when something like that happens. So we were wondering if we could borrow... Borrow? Rent. Rent some musical instruments for the White Brothers, you know, from your corporation. Uh, that would be the instrument division. Yeah, I think we ought to be able to put something together. After all, we're all friends here. Oh, great. <laughs> Terrific. Okay. Of course, uh, we will have to charge some minor fees for instruments. Course. There is the first and last month's rent, but that's standard throughout the industry. Uh, and, of course, there's depreciation, cottage, instrument insurance, and the York City rock and roll tax. Uh, I gotta tell you the truth, guys. So we're gonna lose a bundle on this one. Yeah, but we like you guys, so hey, come back just as soon as you got the loot and... Uh, uh, sure, sure, we'll, we'll do that. Bring a check. Okay, we'll see you later on. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Bye-bye.